Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, Ragnarok here with episode number 8 of my Total War Attila Age of Charlemagne Danes campaign. So we are making a path of destruction here in uh, in Ireland. Taking some provinces. So obviously public order is going to be an issue. But that's... Uh, all right, so our cavalry survived. We'll definitely need to get them replenished. All right, so we're going to occupy. Get a little bit of replenishment that way. Now we're getting replenishment for the troops. It'd be nice if we could get some more cavalry here, but we'll just take whatever we can get for cavalry, basically. What's integrity? Current is 100. Casually suffered. Uh, change for turn is 4. Alright, well, that's okay. How's the integrity here? Change for turn plus 8. It's weird. Transferring the troops back over to the Sigrid did not help with the integrity in the same way. But let's get rid of that. Demolish that. Wait. No, let's just demolish it and we'll rebuild from scratch. Maybe just demolish everything. Just rebuild from scratch. Ooh, food is minus 65. What we'll have to do actually is just not tax this province for now until we get built up properly. Yeah, I'm just going to demolish everything and we'll rebuild from scratch. Uh, these buildings down here, we'll let them repair. These, these are only level 1. Just demolish them. And then maybe convert this at level 2. No. Whoa. Yeah, no, we'll just demolish it. We'll get a little bit... That'll give us a little bit more income. And just the cost of repairing them will be, be really high. Alright, so it looks good. This army is probably going to attack us, but it's mostly made up with cavalry. We have the walls here, though. The walls are going to be damaged, but our archers and spearmen should be able to hold that. Unfortunate that we can't. So they're in force march. They might not be able to reach us. Not in force march. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see. This will be a tough fight, actually. I don't know. Even with the walls, we might not be able to win that. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. They attack us. If we get one turn of replenishment, we should be in better shape to do so. Actually, can we get can we do recruit over here? Ready for orders. Ah, uh, yes, we can. So let's get some more spears. Yeah, I would merge these and recruit more, but just in case we actually, yeah, let's do that anyway. Merge. Band two. Death in battle. Damn it. No finer ending. Actually, take you out of the army. I was born to play end lives. And should be able to recruit one Go. more. Perfect. Us, Good stuff. All right, yeah, so that'll get us. Closer to full strength, anyway. Save us a little bit of money. And. Oh, you know what? There's another thing that we can do here, actually. Alright. Let's see here. Who is Hakon? It's still disloyal. Who's got a lot of. I want to get rid of Emmy. He's got a lot of influence. Ivar. I want to keep these two. Which influence? Might actually even. Adopt Ivar. Ragnar's got a lot of influence as well. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit Emmy. Gonna him. Uh, 
Valhalla's Chosen. Warriors all. Hold up as well. Need any of this stuff really. Just give you authority. Right, so advantage of having our on in turn. The, yeah, the hell am I trying to say? The advantage of having high Imperium is that we can can recruit a number of generals. Now this is going to be expensive income wise because each one of these units has a pretty high upkeep cost but this should uh, allow us to defend the settlement. We can get three more and might as well just get all of these guys as well. And then we can use them to also push against the uh, I don't want to use either of those. Ready for battle. Just uh, raise an arm. Ready for and then we'll raise one more. Yeah, see. Um, it's hurting the income, but at the same time. Alright, I just want to take a look here. Some of these guys are disloyal. These guys have okay. This this guy's not too bad. Yeah, some of these guys we're gonna want to get killed off, like like own Gendus, Akon, and Hemming because of his influence, and Ragnar because of his influence, and that should give us more power. Right, yeah, in any case, it. um. <laughs> This will give us a. Move out. Just put you guys. Uh, yep, while we're on the side. Stay put. For the tribe. Journey completed. Yeah, so this will allow us to to hold on to the settlement. I think that so we just increased our one, two, three, four, five, six. So we Ready just got. Orders. Six times 160. Over 700, probably about 800. How can I help? Actually, about almost 900 troops on the ground. Over there. Yeah, so I think we'll definitely be able to hold off against that now. I think we have to worry too much. And I think that's it. It's just uh, income is going to take a little bit of a hit for now. I am the destroyer of men. But public order is moving in the right direction over here again. And in four turns, we'll be able to level these up. So that'll that'll boost the income up a little bit. And now that we have Stronghold over here, we can look to expand in the rest of the province. So what we'll do by Friday, by the end of the, by episode 10, I want to have full control of this island. And then we can start making our, our moves on... Okay, that's fine. It's going up. Yes. And this one is going up as well. So I think we're okay here. Right, yeah, let's let's read a little bit more of about Snorri. Uh, if you guys have questions about any of this sort of stuff, feel free to ask in the in the comments and stuff. Right, so the fat poet sitting uh setting sail from Norway. In the fall of 1220, 1220, had no idea of his future importance. He had not writ, he had not yet written any books. Snorri's ambition was to rule Iceland, whether as a, the leader of a group of more or less equal chieftains or as kings, earls made no difference to him, so long as he was rich, respected, and indulged. The voyage did not go well. It was late in the year to set sail, and the weather in the North Atlantic was fierce. His new ship lost its mast within sight of Iceland. It wrecked on the western islands off the southern coast. Snorri had himself 
and his bodyguard of a dozen men ferried over to the mainland with their Norwegian trevors, treasures. They borrowed horses and rode, bedecked in bright colored cloth like courtiers, wearing gold and jewels and carrying shiny new weapons and sturdy shields to the nearby estate of the Bishop of Scarlet. There, Baron Snorri's new title was ridiculed. Some Icelanders even accused him of treason, having sold out to the Norwegian king. All right, so we'll get back to to Snorri's Snorri's story here as we get into a next uh, next end turn. But obviously, we're gonna have a lot of problems over here for the time being, but that's that's quite quite all right. So we are Ready. just uh, getting things situated. Steady as oh, we go. Shit. Shouldn't have moved him. For the tribe. Damn. All right, so now that we have all these extra guys over here, it's going to be a little bit of a mess. Glory. We're trying to assassinate him. 80% chance. That's good. Or we can manipulate him. All right, let's... 23% chance that he's manipulated. 53% chance that he's stopped. Opportune favor. Failure. That's unfortunate. All right, so it looks like they've fallen back. We've got this guy over here. Let's see what else is out here. Oh, so they've got a full stack over here still. So we'll have to be careful still. What? Abba has leveled up. What do we do? Let's do that. Okay. What else can we do? More zeal would be good. Now let's give him more zeal because that'll give his self defense a little bit better. A bit of a boost. So what we're gonna do, I think, Actually, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a rebellion here. We need to get to full strength. We're almost to full strength, actually, though. I want to finish these guys off. Actually, should probably try and do that Warriors next. All. Ready for uh, though we're gonna have the rebellion, we're gonna have to deal with the rebellion first, and I'm not sure if it's gonna happen here or here. Yes. How is the? Okay, good, good, good. All right, how are we gonna build this province? That's the question. I guess we should probably get a meat hall, and we can get uh, Vikings here, so that'll be good. Should we build a siege? We could build a siege engineer workshop for now, just to. Down here, I think we'll put this sacred ground. This will be a good spot to do the public order building. I'm not going to need that here. Oh, Shadow is playing Total World Warhammer 2. I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, guys, but Shadow is organizing another tournament, and he's uh, he's invited me to to participate. So probably going to be recruiting troops here. So fist fighters might not be a bad idea, and then. Let's go food market and wine market, I think. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was a blacksmith. Never mind. Blacksmith is there. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to need to get some practice in for that. But uh, yeah, I, I will be taking part. Uh, sometime this spring, I think 12 out of 16 people have 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 signed up for it. So taking part in that soon i'm trying really hard to get ahead with some of my recording right now because yeah w once that gets started it's probably going to take up most of my time uh just to just because of the organization and everything of it it's probably going to be a little bit tricky all right good stuff so income taking a little bit of a hit can we what happens if we tax the province are we yeah we're still we need to get food here might want to repair that. But let's see what we can build over here in 
Jute land. Might want to consider sending these agents back over. Now we're still waiting three more turns for that to upgrade, so there's nothing we can build. I don't know, hopefully they're not sending anything towards us, but I think they'll be focused more on attacking us over here. Alright, let's get you over here, Arendi. Just wondering... Oh, let's put you by the capital for now. Leaving the ships. Let's you sure deploy you. Else? Minus 20. Okay, so that'll prevent the rebellion. We might actually even be able to prevent the rebellion here. I doubt it. Religious differences, minus 19. It's about minus 9. Okay. Devastation. Three food. Two and three. Yeah, so the rebellion will be next turn. Ready for battle. Our income, we can we can handle that. We can absorb that for now, but we obviously don't want to run a deficit for too long. How can I assist you? Just want to be careful. There's two enemy forces here, and the thing is, if we move out, it's going to cause the rebellion. Actually, we might want to just cause the rebellion right away. Position you outside oh, here. We'll put you in camp. Let's put you, put Ivar into the settlement to get more Ready replenishment. For battle. Thirsty for battle. For the tribe. And then the rest of you. Ready for orders. I want to Move put these out. guys down here. Uh, just because... How much range does this guy have? Yeah, we're... Alright. Yeah, we're not within range of, of their armies. The reason I want to bring these guys down here is just to... In case the rebellion happens over here... I don't want to end up losing our fleet and our air. So, I believe... Four of them should be okay. And then the other three... Got our agent here. Oh, it's just Thirsty two more. Battle. Let's uh, let's move them up a little bit. On the move, lads. Put them move in out. camp. Your next command. Ready for orders. You may as well right. get settled in, lads. There we go. Work on converting that agent or, or eliminating him. Either or works for me. There we go. Get her over here as well. Your job is to convert this guy. Chance 86%. She's getting really 39% chance target manipulated. So she's getting very good. success but not critical success at least it uh, disables him and let's get you over here as well yeah so we'll work on getting public order under control but we now have our foothold on, on foreign soil so I know this is uh, taking quite a long time to do but I mean this is the way I wanted to go about the campaign oh all right. Once we get rid of the disloyal guys and the guys with a lot of influence, we'll we'll start trying to adopt some of these other guys. But we'll try and gain a little bit more influence first, and and get rid of the disloyal Ready for orders. disloyal generals Ready and the generals who have a lot of influence. And then whoever is, happens to be left over, we will keep them get them into the fold somehow now is there Knut oh we've got a warrior down here yeah he might be quite valuable so get him into mix but yeah probably we'll be recruiting another army here I was thinking to recruit it back here 
in Jutland, but it's just going to take them so long to get over here. So may actually want to get these guys on the... What is their... More. We'll let them level up. He should level up next turn, actually, Sigurd. Maybe once he's leveled up, we'll send him back over and start scouting. And then once once Wiglaf levels up a little bit as well. Look at this. Oh, all right. Got more authority will give you more critical success. So that. What else do we want to do? Zeal. Self-defense, campaign movement range as well. Sweet. Uh, this might actually be very useful right now, especially since we are Reach Doom might be good too. Discourage Buffy. Um Let's go spread religious influence just to, because that's going to be a big, uh, oh, we can assign a governor here. Ooh, son of a bitch, well, because we've recruited everyone. Actually, let's, okay. Ah, we'll just leave it for now. Actually, no, we won't. Let's... Ready for orders. Ready for battle. All right, we'll get the rebellion next turn. We'll sort that out. Thirsty for battle. How is chosen? Warriors Who would be a good governor? That's a question. I don't want Knut as, as the governor. Well, well, we'll wait till next turn. Maybe a better candidate will will pop up. Sales of domination. But yeah, as predicted, the, the forces here are not nearly as strong as the forces over in in England. Alright, we'll skip over that and these guys should be okay. I think it's moving in the right direction. Turn five, yep. Your orders change my turn. Minus one. Uh, what you do, Ken? Put you out here. Hard on the oars. The integrity goes up, however, Gnupa is not getting replenishment. I uh, will do it that way for now. Just to get the integrity, I guess the integrity is a little bit more important than the status of its own unit, but. Right, so where were we? So, back to Snorri's story. So, from then until his death, 1241, Snorri would fight one battle after another, in the courts or by proxy, double-crossing family and friends to see who would be Earl of Iceland, deputy to Norris king. Snorri would die in his nightshirt, cringing in the cellar, begging for his life before his enemy's thugs. He, done, he did not... Hmm. At half Dan and and Ragnar, I'm not opposed to getting these guys killed, but I, I should probably just withdraw here because we might need we may need them to deal with this force. So we'll, we obviously we want to get them killed, but just just not quite yet. I mean, if they're still within range, then so be it. All right, so he did not live up to his Viking ideals, to the heroes portrayed in his books. He did not live with a laugh or a poem on his lips. His last words were, don't strike, as the poet George Louis Borges sums him up in a beautiful poem. The writer who bequeathed the mythology of ice and fire and violent glory to us was a coward. On your head, your sickly face falls the sword as it fell so often in your book. Alright, we've got the rebellion here. And 
guys are starting fires. Army withdraws. Construction. Alright. Just want to check quickly. Did our. Did our. Yes, he did level up Sigurd. Good job. Alright, so what do we want? Hmm. Go one zeal. Guess we'll give him cunning as well. Villa activity would allow him to get experience over there without actually assaulting. Some pipes. What is this? Scout. All the arms. Oh, let's see. I don't think we'll need that for him. Here's what we're good. Alright, let's go down this line. That will at least give him the ability to level up in enemy provinces without actually doing anything really. And what we'll send him to just kind of scout out Wiglaf, we'll, we'll leave him, we'll let him level up a little bit more before we get him on. I mean, we'll probably level him up a fair bit over here in our home province. And this will give us an idea if they're sending any fleets over this way as well. Be able to spot them before they hit our shores. Let's keep you on the move over here. How big is this rebellion force? Not very. Alright, so Warriors he's all worried about this guy. So now which one of these? So who do we want to get rid of? Who do we have here? We've got Ready for orders. A Genedis. We want to get rid of Ready him. We want battle. to get rid of Hakon. Hemming. And Ready Gorm. What about battle. Gorm? Do we want to keep Gorm? Yeah, we'll get rid of him too. He does have more loyalty. But it is stupid. His wife. Although his wife makes up for his stupidity. So maybe we'll keep Gorn. Alright, so what we'll do. Gorm. We'll just move you here for now. And put you in a camp. The guys that we want to get rid of. We'll keep them in regular stance. And the guys we want to keep. We'll put them in in camp mode. All right, Ivar has leveled up. It's 2%. Troop recruits. I'm going to cost minus 10 for infantry. Minus 5 for cavalry. Probably better. Turn to your authority. Better morale for the troops. Battle movement speed. Armor plus 5% for cavalry. Of course, let's give him that. Keep the long sword. Actually, let's give him the pommel saddle. Plus 20% for the Anders unit, that's, that's pretty good. But we're gonna give him that. And oh, got to level Ready him up. Orders. He is the cavalry commander now, so we'll just do everything that's gonna boost up the cavalry. Uh, one movement. Speaking of cavalry, is there still pool has it? Punished, unfortunately. And we are running a negative, but we're we're gonna be getting getting rid of some of these guys here soon, short. All right. Siegfried. It's eight percent trained. Good. 
think we want to give him ammunition plus five percent for missile infantry. I think that's what we'll give him. Since he's got all the missile infantry in his unit, or in his army. I think that'll be good. Unit experience plus two for land. Oh, very interesting. We'll give that to the governor of this province because that's where we will be recruiting. We'll go with that. And, and for Fleet, the heir to the throne, maybe we'll give him the other one. It's 20% armor. Yeah, sorry guys. It's just going to take me a minute to sort this stuff out. I still got the longsword and hostile agent. There's something better we can give him. Not really. Uh, actually, let's give him. No. Let's just leave it as is. All right, good. Good stuff. All right, so who else is on our 86 list? Here, so we've got Ready for battle. Ragnar and Halfdan. We want to keep either of these guys. Halfdan. Halfdan actually would make a good governor. Loyalty. Oh, his wife is ambitious. Wouldn't make a bad governor. What else do we have down here? A new hack on who's a merchant. Knut, I, I want Knut to be the next next general that we recruit for our next army. Ready for orders. Yeah, I guess we can get rid of half Dan Warriors as well. All. Get moving. Although no, I'm, well, I don't know. Might want to keep him for for, for the province, but Ready for orders. sons of Lodbrook are gonna have to take out this army, and then Ready these guys we're gonna we're gonna use them to take down this, this force over here. Move out. Getting on our way. Move out. Guys that don't be attack, else? let's just put them in Ready for orders. in camp because that'll give them. Well, nothing really. More reinforcement range. Yes, I, I don't know. All right, let's get in here and see if we can get these guys killed. We do also have the garrison. But yeah, we'll we'll do most of the fighting with our our generals here that we're trying to eliminate. And then we'll start making moves to to build a second army. And, and with two full stacks, I, I feel pretty confident about with heading back to, to England. Two full stacks and a, a decent-sized fleet is what our goal will be. And we'll, we'll need Ireland to be able to support that economically. But... All right. Fog. Wait. Marine. We'll wait. And we'll take that letter. All right, so where boats are the reinforcements coming in? Uh, there. There. Interesting. Where right, will you? Just chill out up here for now. Start it up. See who comes in where for reinforcements. But we will definitely want to win this battle, get rid of the rebellion, so that. Uh, Siegfried doesn't have to worry about it. Fearless warriors. But we... Look, friendly banners. Okay, our so these are our 
So these guys are going to be the ones that we finish the fight with. These guys. It's the ones that we start the fight with. There should be one more of them coming. Shouldn't it? Alright, there he is. So they didn't come from where I thought they were. The tide of battle turns in our favor. Is that so? Alright, let's get you guys moving. Speed this along. You guys can chill out up there. They're going to be exhausted by the time they get there, but anyway. They're destined for Valhalla. That's where we're sending these fine Viking warlords. Their companions. The enemy is attacking our general. Though, if we lose our, maybe we should have sent him in last, as if he what, could affect the morale, and we could end up losing the battle. But you know, yeah. The we enemy refuses fight. to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. I mean, we might not even be able to get these guys killed in this situation, but. If not, we're, I'm sure there'll be more opportunity to eliminate them. Lots of enemies on this this island. The general has been killed. Excellent. All right, so that was really easy. Really easy, and uh, we did not uh, lose anyone, as I. Hoped we would. But at least we don't have to really sort out the rebellion here. With our, with our main army. Let's go with cash. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to run them down. I guess maybe if we had sent them in one at a time, maybe we would have been able to eliminate them. Okay, let's auto resolve it this time. Alrighty, so rebellion dealt with. Get moving. These generals are still alive. Ready for battle. Get moving, you wretches. Warriors all. When your feet bleed, you can moan. Alright, let's move it here. Move out. Stragglers will be left behind. Here. Yep. For the tribe. Not even gonna bother to, to level him up for I think obvious Ready. reasons. Alright, getting the integrity back. Actually, let's put him back in the port. Your orders? Ships the port. Gonna get another rebellion here, actually. Should have kept these guys down here. Anyway. So, Gorm. They say we were going to keep Gorm. Right, he's the one. Oh, wait, he's got another. Yeah, I think we're going to keep Gorm. So, we'll try not to get him killed, actually. Which means. We'll actually even disband him. Hold on to him for now. The other guys, however. Oh shit, the for army the is there. Ready for no, orders. went right past the army. We want him to participate Warriors in this all. battle. Because we'll send those. Send them all in Thirsty first. We're gonna leave the Heralds of Ragnarok Warriors out of this one. Ready for orders. 
go to Force March. Alright, let's get over here. Alright, we'll go control large army. Only Ragnar is here supporting us. It's the other general is not quite close enough. Actually, let's see if we can fix that. For the tribe! Yeah! That is impossible! There. On the move, lads. Uh, fuck's sake. Get moving. But it should be participating this time. It's unfortunate Thirsty that for battle. they freaking moved him too far Warriors because I'm looking rid of him too. Alright, they're both participating this time. Both Hafdan and Ragnar. We'll send those two in first. Let them do whatever damage they can. We'll set up a defensive position with our spears and archers. And we'll just enjoy the carnage from a, a nice vantage point, hopefully. Wait. Start deployment. Whereabouts are. Enforcements are behind. So I'm going to set up back here, just to give our our general friends time to get in. Now I want to put these on flaming shot. I think I really like. and then set this up. Fine, we'll just set up a new box here. Nice defensive. Then Siegfried, get into the fight. Yeah, sorry, I'm just still getting used to the uh, interface a little bit with Attila. All, all the games are a little bit different with the way grouping and stuff like that works. So I apologize for that if it's a little bit tough to watch sometimes. So our reinforcements, there they are. So we're going to send them right up ahead. And just leave everybody on fire. Well. Good news. Additional forces have arrived. Indeed. We have. Put you guys there for now. Right, so they should come to us, seeing as we have the artillery. So we'll get these spears into shield wall in a moment. But we can take this army out. And we'll be one step closer to taking control of the, the Irish Isles. Which we, we've really got to get a move on because, yeah, we've only got two more episodes this week, and then that's that's half of the 
half of the time limit for the Let's Play already, so I guess I really do need to pick up the pace a little bit. Oh, why, why do you guys gotta walk through those guys? Shield ball. Doesn't seem to have any negative effects. I don't know if it. I. Pretty sure in Shogun 2, when you put them in in Gary Wall, that it affects their fatigue. But I guess Spear Wall doesn't do the same. Just basically brace. Put you guys out in front. Get them in front there and put them in Shield Wall. And we should be within range to shoot over them. Almost in range of. So actually, put you right there. Put them in shield wall. While we do want to get these guys killed, we want them to to stay in the fight for as long as possible. Do as much damage as possible. So, go 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 go. They can do that, it will do more damage and shield while they last longer. Warriors eager for blood. We hunger for blood. All right, shield wall. Oh, no, yeah, I guess we got into it. Ooh, what, what, what the hell kind of aim is that, you fucking catapult guys? Yeah, so we'll let them just get take the brunt of this attack while our range units do their thing here and it's unlikely that there it doesn't look like has out of shield bombs around Units have rallied and returned to the battle. Yeah, so we'll just let them fight it out up there. We should have no trouble holding the line here. Actually, get you guys into position to flank. Back in shield the spear wall. Them in the spear wall in the moment here. I don't seem terribly interested in uh, shoot into there. These two units are fucking just holding them off. I mean, these are more elite troops, obviously. Get you guys in the spear wall as well. What, what kind of aim is that? What are you guys shooting at? Holy friendly fire. Let's shoot into this. My men flee the field of battle. It's okay. Ah, uh, stay in the display. fight. Stay in the fight. Where are you going? Hopefully he got killed off there. I think this is going everything is going according to plan here so far. Dark day. Our general has died at Alright, good, hands. good. What we want, as so long as it's not Siegfried. The enemy are losing their advantage. So these guys look like they want to flank around. I'm just going to charge the side of the spears. Let's actually move in with these spears. These cavalry's down. We'll move in. This guy Ragnar is. Uh, we're really putting up a good fight. Ragnar's companions. I think Ragnar is the general that went down. I'm not sure.
good stuff. They're all about to rout. But yeah, I think we took very little damage on our main force and we got rid of, I believe, two of our, our rivals in our political scheme and this army is more or less destroyed now and we're in, we're in very good shape. That couldn't have gone better. We'll just let these guys get a few more kills. Oh, that's that's what I want to see. Actually, guys, maybe catch up and take some of these guys out. But yeah, even this general, his unit stayed in the fight till the very end. Basically, those two units held up their entire army. Get this up a little bit. I just want to see if we can get a couple more shots in with our archers. Get a few more kills. There we go. That's, that's catch up to them. Yeah, this went extremely well. All right, good enough. Yeah, so the kingdom of Kon Konachta, Konachta is, is more or less destroyed, but 168 remaining. Alright, so Ragnar somehow survived that. Uh, yeah, integrity obviously is such a, <laughs> a big problem that we'll, we'll go with the, uh, the replenishment here. How are we doing for time? Oh, uh, we've got eight minutes left, so let's see if we get a little bit for more left. Uh, what have they got here? Uh, Thirsty for battle. Warriors oh, maybe we can get you killed off here. I'm just gonna auto resolve this one. Unlikely that we're gonna win or lose this, but we'll take the 15 gold coins there. All right, so what is the plan now? It's got enough. Get to work. Let's see. Should be able to hit their final settlement next turn. Ready which is the battle. final settlement in the province. Wait, no. Dublin is the... Alright, maybe we'll just come up here and sack this. Just to get rid of them. For the but for now, Defending we're going to put the Sons of Lodbrook in camp. Ready and we're battle. going to send... This guy's over as bait. There. Uh, as far as he can poke. Yeah, we'll send Ragnar there as bait. If these guys, they may not be able to resist coming out there and hitting them, and then we could finish off that army as well. How's Hemming? And then we'll, we'll do the same thing with Hemming over there. Hemming and, and Hakon. Ready for orders. Get rid of those two guys and. Hopefully soon we'll get this the Heralds of Ragnarok back into the field. I was gonna say we could be recruiting them, but the I'm gonna get another rebellion here again next Ready turn. For Ready for battle. Is there anybody else that's out of general that would go? General Gen 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 Ivar Governor. Yeah, tribal chief. It's two actually it's five all the provinces. It's a statesman. So maybe we'll maybe we'll put Gorman in charge. He'll be governor of this province. That's not a bad idea. Actually, what I want to do is let's recruit. Ready for orders. 
unit be in charge of. Fight Just give him a couple it's of. A good life. Actually, all right, let's check him out. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, he's gonna be fucking awesome. This one's zeal. Let's do zeal. All right. Let's give him this. Sheet. Unit experience. Plus two for land groups covered province. Plus eight percent shield training or Seven percent. So let's go with that. Battle so movement speed might be good. We just go with shield, shield bearer for now, just to get that extra shield training while we recruit some troops. So extra authority. Yeah, let's go with. Shield training, and then we'll, we'll switch it to battle movement speed. But we'll, what we're going to do with him is we're going to recruit a... We'll, we'll recruit just some spears for now. Just something cheap, just to get the numbers up. We don't need any more archers. I think we have plenty of archers in this army. Um, we'll just... Odin sentences. Damn it, I wanted to... I meant to reinstate one of the legacies for, for his army. Anyway, that's okay. The gods Go. blessed you. How can I help? Well met. What do you wish of me? All right, eighty-eight percent chance. I will convince them. Success, but not critical success. So, keep working on it. Maybe we'll get him. We're here. Already made our moves. Oh, mother of... I don't need that here. Alright, so we'll establish a governor here next turn. I'm going to get one more rebellion. Warriors all! I want our leaf of rose. Can... Thirsty for battle. This thing should give us plus 10 public order. For the tribe! Actually, let's switch it to Nieselhelm for him as well, for now. Warriors Just to see if that gives us a boost to public order here. Warriors then. all! What? Ready for battle! For the tribe! Alright, yeah, that'll be fine for now. Warriors all! Ready for battle! Alright, let's end the turn. Unassigned skills, Gems Ragnar, that's fine. Don't need skills. He may still assign a provincial governor. We'll do that next turn. This guy is it's moving in the right direction, so that's Ready okay. Sales orders. of Doom. It's going down. But I want to get him replenished, and then we can put him back in the, the other stands. I don't know if it's good having these, these boats right now. I don't know if we necessarily need them. We could just disband them and re-recruit them. I don't know. Right, so let's finish off with a little bit more of Snurry. So, Snorri and the, the Wizard of the North. So, yet his work remains. Because of Snorri's wiz wizardry with words, the gods and heroes of the Vikings live on. And our modern culture is enriched by Northern fantasy. In the 20 turbulent years between his Norwegian triumph and his ignominious death, while scheming and plotting, blustering and fleeing, fleeing, Snorri did write his books, covered hundreds of parchment pages with world-shaping words, encouraging his friends and kinsmen to cover hundreds of pages more. So, I think it's very fascinating there that 
if these works didn't survive, if Snorri's stories didn't survive, the Heimskringla, this, this huge history of, of the Vikings, then we we wouldn't have, we, we would know a lot less about the Vikings and their mythology. And we probably, like the, the entire fantasy genre would be, would be at the very least uh, diminished by... Alright, so this is a little bit more of a sizable force, but again, I think can't, shouldn't be able to handle the cavalry units. Shouldn't be too much of an issue with the way our army is built. How much time do we have left? Uh, we're at the hour mark, so I'm going to leave it here, and we'll pick things up from here next time. In the next two episodes, we've got to take these four settlements, so... That'll be the goal for the next two episodes to lock down the rest of this province. And we'll, we'll try and get this a little bit better organized here. I don't have it. We'll see if we can get rid of these generals that I want to get rid of and, and just clear this up and, and get rid of this negative, negative income for the time being. But anyway, uh, episode number, number nine, I guess, is next. Have a great day. Uh, bye bye.